Many believed the turmoil of the 20th century had immunized Germany from a return of a far-right political party. Sunday's result proved them wrong. While the Alternative for Germany party celebrate their result, their opponents are staging protests on the streets. They fear the party's anti-migrant agenda has parallels with the Nazis' rise to power. It's the first time since uh, after the war that a racist and neo-Nazi party is in parliament. So that's really worrying to us. Yeah, and this reminds everyone of 1933. Jewish groups were among those expressing fear at the result. The AFD's co-leader has previously said Germans should be proud of their military's achievements in World War II. At a news conference Monday, he denied the party is racist. This word reclaiming is meant symbolically. We are saying I do not want to lose Germany to an invasion of foreign people from foreign cultures. As simple as that. Analysts say Angela Merkel's decision to let close to a million migrants into Germany at the height of the crisis in 2015 led many to punish her at the polls. Most people who voted for the alternative for Germany did not vote for the party because they share the platform. It was a protest vote, clearly. The far-right's success overshadowed Chancellor Angela Merkel's win, which gives her a fourth term in power. With regard to the AFD voters, our aspiration is to win them back through good politics and problem solving. Her first problem is forming a government. The second placed Social Democrats have already ruled out working together. So Merkel's best option is likely a coalition with the Liberals and the Greens that will likely take months to agree. It will be very hard to find a compromise on issues such as migration and refugees, but also climate change. So we can be looking at probably some lengthy negotiations. The AFD, meanwhile, has pledged to use its new platform in Parliament to, in its words, hunt down Chancellor Merkel and reclaim the country. Henry Richwell for VOA News, Berlin.